This is basically my office. Every day, different scenery. Every day, a different group of people. I always tell the guys that we're the spoiled brats of the EMS service. We get cars that we can drive every day, all day. We're the only career we can, we can actually see that people are dying to meet us and we're not joking. <laughs> Five years back, I didn't, even three years back, I didn't have to greet my family and home as if I'm going to not come back the following day. I greet my family as if I'm going to walk. Despite um, the harsh working conditions that we deal with, it's very rewarding. It's very rewarding. It's basically me giving back to the very community that gave me or has provided me with exposure to mold and shape me for what I am today. Oh, I'm assisting the exact same people that assisted me when I was much younger, especially like the older people. I work in the exact same community that I grew up in. There's a lot of people know you, they know where you live, so if something happened and you're off, they tend to knock on your door for assistance. <laughs> Uh, 74 dispatch, go ahead over. Uh, 74, I need your assistance. That's uh, number Keep 4, King Dillon, Street in the East 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 2034, Roger intercepted, we turn it over. Let me just get my bags. When the radio goes off and we get a call, what is going to happen at scene or our safety? That's the very first thing that goes to my mind. It's a grueling 12 hours. It can be a very grueling 12 hours. It can be, at times, a very emotional 12 hours. A lot of us actually think that we're invincible here. We think that we're invincible. We can't be touched, we can't be harmed. Because we're wearing uniform. 